Welcome to the What's Cooking Show, everyone. I'm your host, Chef Jason Hugay. And I'm Crystal Landry, and we're right here from Steamboat. Today, Jason's gonna be preparing a nice fish dish for us. So y'all join us back after the break. Welcome back, everybody, to the What's Cooking Show. Um, Jason's going to get started prepping his fish. So why don't you tell everybody what you're gonna be cooking today? Okay, first, I'm gonna uh, take my little melted butter. And I'll put some in this pan. We pan sear in this fish today. <clears throat> so today what we have is uh, some swordfish. We got in fresh. Um, it's one of my favorites. Uh, we do that pretty often here, especially during Lent. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is let this butter get really hot. So I'll put it on high. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna season this, you know, pretty good with uh, our house seasoning. Once again, not too spicy, not too salty. Mm -hmm. This one good thing about this season, you can put it real a lot on there and <laughs> not have to worry about it. Uh, if you like salt, you will need to add some. But it's, to me, it's got plenty enough salt. And if you like spice, you're gonna have to add some red pepper. That's just yeah. so that way, an all purpose should be just that, an all purpose. So, all right, so our butter's hot. We're just gonna lay that down in our pan. Just gonna pan sear that. We uh, did some of this this past weekend, and um, it was a big hit. Yeah, it As flew always. out that kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> they like the swordfish. This is a firm flesh fish, if you've never had swordfish. What I mean by firm, as in like tuna, um, halibut, salmon, like a steak type. <clears throat> Very different from um, speckled trout, light and delicate, flaky. Right, that's what I like. It's got a unique flavor. It's not strong, so uh, if you ever seen the menu, you're scared to try it, let's try it. It's not fishy <clears throat> for right. those of us that ask that question. So today, on today's show, we wanted to kind of uh, talk about this uh, festival that goes on in town um, in March. It's going to be in a few weeks. Chris is going to tell yep. us a little bit more about that. So it's the Washington Community Festival. Um, it's going to be Saturday, March 23rd. A couple of things they wanted us to mention. Um, the sh it's going to open for parking at 7. The streets are going to close at 8 a.m. Um, you need to set up your booth by 9.30. The opening ceremony is going to be at 10. Judging is at 12 for the cook-off, which if you're interested in that, they have um, registration forms for cooking. Um, they're actually a, looking for... Yeah, they're looking for groups to cook. So or um, entries. Yeah. Cooking teams, if you want to uh, register, yeah. uh, call Town Hall. You can actually call here if you'd like. and we Yeah, can we can direct you, you to the um, right person. where you need to be. It's a catfish cook-off. Anything catfish. So anything catfish, catfish gravy, fried catfish. Um, we've seen some interesting ways to cook catfish the last year, which was mm -hmm. something we've never seen, but hey, they were all really good. Um, and then they're gonna announce the winners for the cook-off at two. Um, they have a few live bands that they're gonna have, I believe. They uh, have, a, I don't know the lineup exactly. Yeah. But um, I mean, there's bands all day. It's from 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 9 p.m. So. The stuff to yeah. do for everyone all day long. Vendors, arts and crafts. Main Street will yeah, be Yeah, it's really nice. Full. It's, it's like the old days, uh, back in the days when I first started here, it was uh, the Catfish Festival was downtown. Mm -hmm. And it was moved for years. We actually talked about this last year on the show. Yeah, we sure did. And so they moved it back. And I think this is only the third year that they're yeah. gonna have it back in town. And mm -hmm. it's a really big hit the last couple of years. And, um, it's fun. Yeah, it is fun. We'll it's tell you a little bit more about that on the next segment. Nice. Not episode, segment. See, <laughs> so Call me out. Nobody our swordfish that. <laughs> is um, looking really good. Smelling good. Yeah, you don't want to flame too high because you don't want to burn your butter. And <clears throat> it doesn't take this fish that long. Uh, obviously, it would be a little bit longer if we cut it thicker. This is a, a eight ounce portion. 
And it's smelling amazing. Yes, it is. Very simple. Okay. Using my little nonstick pan, which is very expensive, so I'm using my nonstick um, or non-metal spatula. All right, there you go. Oh, yeah. So I'll crank that up just for a second. And the way we're going to finish this is with a little bit of Worcestershire and lemon juice, as we always do here at Steamboat. I'm going to turn yours on, Crystal. Okay. Because I'm going to show you something. Right, turn your flame off. Mm -hmm. Let all that little tangy, like a simple menier. Put this on our paper towels just to drain all the excess stuff off of it we don't want. So <clears throat> next, I want to show you guys. Um, it's a sauce we've never done on this show before. And um, I had to go all over creation <laughs> this morning to find white wine vinegar, but we found it. <clears throat> so. At the pig, right? Yeah, at the pig. <laughs> so we're going to do, this is called a uh, classical French beurre blanc, mm -hmm. which is basically just a butter sauce. And the proper way to make this is you're going to take some dry white wine. All right. You're going to take some of this white wine vinegar, just a little bit. It's one cup to a quarter cup ratio. Then we're going to put some shallots. If anybody does not know what shallots are, it's these little things right here. Very similar to an onion, has a little garlicky flavor to it. We'll be doing some of those in just a little bit. All right, so <clears throat> the way you make this sauce, it's a very unique sauce. We have the shallots and the white wine and the white wine vinegar. We're just going to let that reduce to one third of its volume right now. So when it gets, it reduces, it reduces, just a reduction. When it reduces, we're going to take our cubes of butter that we have in the kitchen I'm about to go get and basically slowly mount the butter to it, swirling it a little bit at a time, creates an emulsion. And what we're going to do is take a break start reducing this, and then I'll get my butter, and we'll come back and show you how to finish. All right, y'all join us back for more with Cooking. Welcome back, everybody, to the What's Cooking show. We have our sauce that's reduced down. I guess you would call it a sauce. Um, well, it's, this is a step in the sauce. A step in the sauce. So Jason is going to take over, and he's going to tell us what he's going to do next to finish it. Okay, so this is uh, probably the last step. Well, this is the last step of a, a, a beurre blanc. So we're going to adjust our heat because you've got to be careful that you don't let the butter break. So what you want to do is start putting some cubes. A little at a time. Now this is a, a slow process because you can't rush this. You can't stir it either, is that what you were saying? Well, you don't want to stir it. You just want to uh, kind of toss your pan like this. What you're doing here is creating an emulsion. You're emulsifying the butter to the liquids. And if you heat, your flame is too hot, the butter breaks, you gotta start all over. I mean, there are ways to bring it back, but it's, it's very hard. Now, there is basically two ways to look at this. Uh, do you strain after this sauce is complete? Or do you not strain? Today we're not straining. If you don't want the shallots, which are really truly just little small onions, then you can strain this. Mm -hmm. 
I guess it just all depends on your preference. That's all, that's all it is. I would not strain it. At home, I don't think you would strain it. I mean, Cajun it. country? I love, no, I this love onions. Classical French sauce, they would, they would make you. Right. This recipe comes out of one of my old culinary textbooks called the Sauce Bible. And that's exactly what it is. It's all right. All about sauces. There's sauces in there you've never heard of. There's sauces in there I've never heard of. <laughs> it's just an amazing book. I still have it from culinary school. I don't reference it that often, but every now and then I get the envy. Mm -hmm. Check it out. I'm gonna reduce our fire a little bit because I don't want to. Don't want this breaking. We've got to start the show over. Well, while Jason's doing that, it is taking a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and say all of these ingredients that you see here. It's very simple, actually, this week. Um, can be found at your local Piggly Wiggly and Cash Saver. Um, 8410 Highway 182 North and 1305 Heather Drive. Um, the phone numbers, 948-8199 and 948-9427. Um, stop by and see them. If you don't see anything uh, that you're looking for, you can always ask them. And fish, you can actually do this dish with any fish that you you like well, so certainly any fish will do yeah any fish will do so like we were talking about earlier okay so this is a beurre blanc which is white wine um there's another version of this sauce called beurre rouge which is as you may guess red wine instead of white wine just depends on what you looking to do yep just a different flavor profile and different color. I'm going to put this on the side for me. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm going to turn our flame off. So this is what you get. And actually what you want to do, season it with a little salt. And white pepper. I mean at home if you choose to Use red or black pepper. Do whatever you want to do. So that's it. That's our beurre blanc, which we will plate onto our fish. And there's another little secret I want to show everybody on the next segment. But before we do that, okay. let's talk about the car show. Um, so community festival, like we talked about, um, they do a car show third annual. They do the cook-off, they do the car show. Um, the classic, it's all classic cars, so um, you can register. If you need any information, you can contact Greg Doucette or Ricky Decody, and we're going to post the numbers um, on here as well. But last year was a big hit. I mean, it was for probably I think a mile if, up the road. It was. If so, I remember, Greg said there was 76 cars yes. in the car show. It's amazing to see. crazy. None of them are And it was only the alike. second year. <laughs> no, plenty of Broncos, which was planned on bringing mine this year, but uh, there's other plans going on. Weddings for somebody, but anyway. Somebody, <laughs> wait till she sees it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so, all right, let's um, go ahead and taste our, our sauce. I'm gonna make sure you got plenty of salt and pepper in it. Mm. It's good. It's, it's it amazing. looks good. It's good. I think it's got plenty of salt. Well, it must for you to say that. Well, let's let that sit for a little minute. And we are going to come back and I got a surprise. And then we'll plate up our fish and then we'll talk some more about the community festival. Okay, y'all join us back for the more What's Cooking. Welcome back everybody to the What's Cooking Show. We are almost done with our dish and Jason is going to show y'all how to plate it up and his little surprise he has for y'all. Okay, so first let me, uh, okay, let me do this part first, all right? <laughs> okay, so I down my little plate. This is something we've started doing every Friday during Lent. Right. So we have these three here, 
which are called Glidden Point Oysters from Maine. And one of my absolute favorites is the um, Murder Point Oysters right here. These are Glidden Point Maine Oysters. These are Murder Point from Orange Beach, Alabama. So we serve like everyone else, lemon, fresh lemon that you can put, squeeze on if you'd like. So these, uh, we try to do a East Coast oyster every Friday and whatever else we can get our hands on, Murder Point. Uh, we have another company out of Homa that we have contacted. We're trying to get some of those. Uh, yes, we only do them raw. We're not set up to do char grilled. We're actually not really set up to do raw oysters, but we figured out a way to make it happen. But we all show you a, a classic sauce that is served with uh, oysters, mostly cold water oysters. It's called mignonette, Min, mignonette sauce. So, I've actually had it for the first time uh, two weeks ago in New Orleans, and I loved it theirs so was a, much to where Jason came home and figured out how to make it. <laughs> their oysters were amazing. They had three different kind of cold water northeast coast oysters. If you never had a northeast coast oyster cold water, the cold water just does something to them. I don't know what it is. And people ask me why, and I try to explain to them. The only thing I can tell them is if you've ever had a Florida lobster and eaten a, a, a cold water Maine lobster next to each other, you can tell the difference. Florida lobsters are good, sure. Like everybody loves a, a Florida lobster. But compared to a Maine cold water lobster, there's just no difference. I mean, I'm sorry, there's no... Uh, <laughs> no comparison. No comparison, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so, um, this sauce is really tangy. The one we had, Crystal and I, in uh, New Orleans was a, a version of this. This is your classic, traditional recipe mm -hmm. that you're gonna see today. We do it with a little twist. I'm gonna show you real quick. Our twist is, the traditional calls for straight red wine vinegar. And so we followed that recipe to the T. And it was a little too, well, a lot of too tart. So what we're gonna do is, we like to add a little bit of water. It kind of tames that sharpness. You also want to take cracked black pepper and, and uh, sea salt, but I found this at Piggly Wiggly. This is just your peppercorn medley. This all the different colors, black, white, green, and I think there's pink ones in there too. So this is a very important part of it. Just gives it a little, little kick, a little something, something special. Yeah, it definitely does. And then we have some, some sea salt, coarse sea salt. Another very important part. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is stir that around. Now, it doesn't take much of this on each oyster. But it's not at all. It just enhances it them. It smells like amazing. The flavor. Put that on there. Mm. If I can get it, that them ice cubes make it hard to just put stuff on there. So. <laughs> It's another item that we do uh, throughout Lent. May, considering doing it a little more often after Lent, so uh, while the supplies last, come check them out. Yep. Next thing I'm gonna do, <clears throat> tell you what, let's, let's cover some more of the community festival while I do this. Well, just, I mean, like we said, community festival, March 23rd. Um, Streets are going to close at 8, cook-off starts, um, catfish cook-off, they're going to do the judging around 2, we have live, van live bands, food vendors, um, the car show. If y'all are interested, if you have a classic car, bring it. It's so cool. I just think it's the coolest thing. I mean, it's um, only $25 to show off your, your car, the fee. Yes. Um, Greg Doucette or Ricky Decody can help you out with that. And if you need a registration fee for the cook-off, 
You can get it at um, the Town Hall in Washington. If you need any information, you can contact them or you can call us here. Or the website. Uh, well, we'll post the website, actually. Um, I'm going to post the website and all of the phone numbers for y'all. Okay. <clears throat> so we have our pan seared swordfish. Uh, very simple at home. I took a skillet, some butter. You can use oil. You can mix butter and oil, so that way it, it raises the um, burn point uh, of the, the liquid. So that way it didn't take us long. We, have, we cut our fish really thin, got it fresh. So um, what we need to do, take our fabulous sauce, which is, again, just white wine, white wine vinegar, shallots, a lot of butter, and uh, salt and white pepper. So let's taste that one more time just to make sure we're good. Did you taste it? I did. It was very good. And, mm, and just better when it sits. Oh, okay, so anyway. <laughs> so we're just gonna kinda drizzle this across. You don't need much, it's very um, you flavorful. You don't need much. And Beautiful rich. fish. Yes. And at home you can serve this with whatever kind of trimmings mm -hmm. you would like. And that's that. Very simple. Hardest part is probably getting the ingredients. Yep. The fish would probably be the hardest. All right, so we got that. Don't forget the oysters, <clears throat> my favorite. So these murder points I used to get, I would order by the, it's a hundred pound, I'm sorry, a hundred count Gosh. oysters. It's a little, <laughs> it's a smaller sack, but I would get them just to, um, just to eat. So I said, well, getting kind of a little bit better on the shucking process, so, um, what if I just start surprised all the customers them? and right? I, I still think a lot of people don't even know we do them. Yeah. So um, to kind of get the word out there. But so well, before we end, let me touch on one more thing. Okay, go ahead. Um, like I said in, uh, before, all the ingredients that we've used here, um, aside from the oysters, of course, but for the mignonette sauce and the um, horseradish sauce, you can find at Piggly Wiggly or Cash Saver, 8410 Highway 182 North and 1305 Heather Drive, 948-8199, 948-9427. Um, y'all go by and check them out. Tell them y'all saw us talking about them on the show. And if you need any help, they are more than happy to help you find anything. As always, if they, if they don't have it on the, on the shelf, they'll just get it ordered for you. They will make sure it happens. That's what they do. Yep. Y'all so, come out and see us for the Community Festival on March 23rd. And come out this Friday to check out the oyster special. The oysters change every Friday. So uh, we have two different types of uh, Northeast Coast, one from Prince Edward Island, one from Maine, and we have some more mur murder point oysters, which are my absolute favorite. Yes. So uh, come see us Friday, and until then. Join us back for more What's Cooking. Yeah.